now if you are going to interpret corner chart like this then you need to also factor in certain things okay uh, for example you need to understand the nature of the organism you need to know the nature of the organism when i say that i mean you need to know or have an idea of factors that are necessary for the organism survival and then growth and then reproduction you also need to factor in um, factors that are responsible for inhibiting the organism growth or factors that are responsible for killing the organisms and you also need to factor in what is being done or what activities are being done in that environment or what treatment has been given to the environment or in this case we have the soil okay so once you get all these things in place then it becomes easier for you to interpret so if you take a look at the question it says what can we say about the health status of the soil samples okay and then it also says are there significant differences in the bacterial population structure between soil samples and rhizosphere samples so let's take a look at the answer so for question one it says the low presence of alpha proteobacteria including members of this as well as the abundance of this and this suggests that the soil is highly exposed to phosphorus so this indicates that probably phosphorus the presence of phosphorus leads to the decline of this particular uh, bacteria groups okay and then uh, phosphorus is also essential it's necessary for these organisms okay so we have two things here this same phosphorus is detrimental to this group and then it actually helps this group okay so the presence is leading to the low abundance or low presence of this group and then it's helping this group to survive grow and then reproduce okay this mineral phosphorus is strongly associated with the anthropogenic activity as it is an important component of agrochemical so this here also indicates that the environment where the soil was taken okay where the soil was taken from the soil sample was taken from probably you have agricultural activities going on there so because there is agricultural activities we have agrochemicals being produced there so we have lots of phosphorus and then this phosphorus helps this group to grow at the same time it's detrimental to this group here so i need to think of this uh, along that line now let's take a look at the second question it says are there significant differences in the bacterial population structure between soil samples and residual samples and the answer is that we can observe that there are important differences in the structure of the bacterial population between the soil and rhizosphere samples particularly significant is the increase in phylum planktomycetes which are usually abundant in the rhizosphere so here we are being asked whether um, from this chart from the results here whether there are significant differences in the bacterial population structure between soil samples and rhizosphere samples so whether this that we use we had two files with the name bulk so we had bulk top bulk bottom and we also had two files with the name rhizos that is rhizos top and a rhizos bottom so uh, these are the samples so the bulk the two files with the name bulk those are the soil samples and the two files with the rhizos are the rhizosphere samples so we are basically um, the question being asked is that um, if you compare those two samples are there significant differences in the bacterial population structure that's the question and the answer is that yes there are differences okay and um, one of the groups that um, stood out was the um, organisms in the phylum planktomycetes that is what this um, um, answer is basically about so that means that if you take a look at the plot here for the individual plots for all the samples here and when we Take a look at the plot we will find out or we are going to see that um, significant differences so that's what we are going to do we are going to just confirm what has been written here there i mean the plots are here so all that we are going to do is to look at the result that we give because the answer here is based on this plot but it's important we also study this plot so that we can also agree on what has been given here 
okay the answer that has been given here so let's take a look at the plot we will begin with the risers samples so we have two of them top and then bottom so let's start with the top so if you click on the top you have this plot being shown for you okay so here we are going to look at the phylum planktomycetes so if you look at the chart here wherever you see p underscore then the p it means phylum so that's what we are going to look at so if you take a look at this plot just um, follow my cursor and then you will see this name here so this is p planktomycetes that is what um, we are going to study here that's the group that's of is of interest to us here so when you hover your mouse you have the name being highlighted so when you see this you can just click it okay but before you click you can look at what has been given you so this is deep actually this is the total we have 1316 so when you are here just click this one this particular name here and then when you click it you have this line being drawn okay to show you um, the regions that belong to this particular phylum and then when you come to the top right here you will see the percentage so here we see so here so here we see eight percent of d underscore bacteria so everything here is bacteria but then eight percent of it okay um the phylum planktomyces the organisms belong to this phylum uh, they, they make up eight percent of the entire bacterial population structure which is everything here that is what has been given here that's eight percent okay so that's what we have here so that's what we have for this particular rhizos top sample now let's take a look at the rhizos bottom but before i even do that you will notice the color here so there's the color for the p planktomycetes so you have this um, color here and also have some here okay so basically once you click this you have this arrow telling you uh, the groups that belong to this phylum so take note of that now let's take a look at the rhizos bottom so you can click it and when you click it a new chart will be displayed for you so again because you had because you have already clicked the planktomycetes for the first one when you click on this second one the percentage will automatically be shown for you here that's what we have so in this sample the members here the members for this phylum planktomycetes they form six percent of the bacteria population structure here that's what this simply means okay so uh, we have eight percent for the rhizostop and we have six percent for the rhizos bottom but if you don't see the value here let's just say let's just click it let's undo it so if you click it and you don't see any value here all that i have to do is just come here uh, search for this phylum the phylum that we are talking about this one and then just click it so when you click it the percentage will be given to you here at the top right here so you can just look at it and if you want to remove this value or this annotation you can just click it back and then it will be gone so that's what you do so we have eight percent for the risers top six percent for risers bottom now let's take a look at the percentage in the soil samples we have bulk top and then bulk bottom so let's start with the bulk top so click it and then when you click it just scroll down again and then you will look at the annotation so when you see the annotation here when you look at the annotation here you will see the phylum planktomycetes here okay you will see because it also has this color so here we can see that it forms it's it's it makes up 0.8 percent of the bacteria population structure which is small okay compared to the rhizosphere sample so this is for bulk top if you click the bulk bottom you will find that the value has been changed we will now have 0.6 percent so this is what this question is talking about okay particular significance is the increase in phylum planktomycetes which are usually abundant in the rhizosphere so here we know that this phylum the members in this phylum they are abundant in the rhizosphere and that is what we are seeing in this chart so if you compare when you look at the rhizosphere samples this and then this we have eight percent for top six percent for bottom but when we come to the soil samples we have 0.8 percent for the top we can see it here 
and then 0.6 percent for the bottom okay that's 0.6 percent that's what we have so this is what this um, question and then the answer um, are about so just taking note of that